Hey, what's up everybody? Mark Styles of Styles Law down here at Studio B with yet another question from one of our clients. The client asks, Mark, we are getting ready to purchase a new home, my wife and I, but I'm the only one that is going to be obligated in the financing portion of the deal. Can we put my wife on title? That's a great question. This happens more than you would think. When two people or more are buying a property, sometimes one or more of those folks are not participating in the financing or the obligation for the financing. So what do you do? Well, one of the easy things to do and what most people like to do is just add that person to the deed after the closing. We caution you, however, because when you're signing certain loan documents with your loan professional and the lender that you'll be paying your obligation to, you've signed covenants that you won't do this. So if you know that you're going to transfer the property in advance, then we should notify your lender in advance. And they will be fine doing this. The only requirement that the person who's not obligated to the financing will need to do is to sign a few customary documents in order to be allowed on title. So what do I mean? Title. Title is the deed. So when the property is conveyed to you by the seller, they're granting their interest to you, the buyer. Those buyers are then granting an interest to the lender, right? So conventional wisdom would say, well, only the people who are borrowing the money would be granting the rights to the lender, correct? Well, not in this case. So when the deed comes in and if there's somebody that's on that deed that is not borrowing the money, well, they're not signing the promissory note. And we've talked about this on other videos. The promissory note is the agreement to pay the money back. When one of those owners, buyers, or partners of the purchase don't obtain financing or are not obligated to pay the financing back, they still must sign the mortgage. So most lenders, most conventional lenders will allow somebody to be on title as long as they sign the mortgage. The reason they do this is very simple. Think about it from this perspective. The person obligated to pay, the partner who is doing financing, the partner who is obtaining financing from a lender has an obligation to pay them back. And if they don't, then what happens? Well, simply stated, that lender will redeem their property. They will foreclose. And the folks that did not agree to pay the money back they could stand up and scream and yell and say, I didn't agree to pay you back. You can't foreclose on me. That's why they ask you to sign the mortgage. And in the mortgage covenants, it states that exactly right there, that you will not stop the foreclosure if the obligor on the note, the promissory note, stops paying or breaches in some other way. So what is that called? The non-obligor title owner. So you can be a title holder and not obligated on the loan. Folks, I hope this was helpful. If so, please share with everyone and anyone. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Styles Law. Thank you and be well.